Tonight we are answering your questions when it comes to the latest COVID-19 vaccine. That's right. Some people might be told, Jennifer, that they need to pay out of pocket for a vaccine at a pharmacy. So the, boost, the booster that was approved this month is for anyone ages six months and older. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter now live with more on what this vaccine entails and the challenges some retailers are facing. Good evening, guys. We we got some info from different viewers saying they got a call from their pharmacy and the pharmacy recommended they cancel their appointment or risk paying out of pocket because of a delay with insurance providers and some of them not having that vaccine yet in their system. But many pharmacists I spoke with today say they can't even get a hold of the vaccine. The CDC signed off on the latest COVID-19 shot less than a week ago, but pharmacists say they immediately started getting calls since there were even murmurings of the vaccine becoming available or being approved. We were already receiving phone calls, a lot of phone calls. According to research from the Kaiser Family Foundation, the COVID-19 vaccine has more than triple in price for pharmacies, costing between $100 and $200 a dose. Georgia's health department plans to offer vaccines through county health departments, but a DPH spokesperson could not confirm whether they had received the vaccine yet. And given the limited supply, many smaller pharmacies say they are in limbo too. Um, we've also identified suppliers that do have it available for us to order and receive, but there's also naturally a time frame in which it takes to, for vaccine to arrive. It's not a overnight situation. Representatives at CVS tell me any cancellations of appointments was due to that location not having enough vaccines. However, they said they're rescheduling those appointments as they get more supply. And Walgreens just got back with me in the last 30 minutes. They said that they are committed to ensuring anyone who wants a vaccine can receive one. And uh, we also talked to many insurance providers today, and they said that this vaccine is in their systems. They said that if you did pay out of pocket, you are uh, eligible to file for a reimbursement, but you have to check directly with that health insurance provider. Guys. All right, Brittany Klein, Peter, live. Thank you so much.